Welcome O'Connor History Club. We are happy you could make it out here to our very first um, Citizen Archivist service event where you can transcribe awesome documents from the National Archives and get service hours while you're doing it. So the first thing that we need to do is get ourselves registered um, and to do that we first need to log on to the National Archives website. So if you go ahead and click on www.archives.gov slash citizen hyphen archivist then you can get to that website. You may want to pause the video here for just a minute while I wait for you all to get on. Alright, assuming that we're all on now, the next thing you need to do is actually register and get yourself started. So you need to click here under register and get started and so right here register and get started or you can click register and get started down here so either way is fine I'll go ahead and just click down here so we come up to this website and notice that it tells you you have to create a user account in order to contribute so in order for you to get service hours and actually transcribe documents you have to register so we'll go ahead and click register Okay, so this should pop up and um, go ahead and create a username. Um, I'm going to do OHS History Nerd because, you know, I'm making up an account here. Oh, look at that. I typed in History Nerd and it automatically knows that it's Jennifer Kane. Now, in all seriousness, um, I'll create Jennifer Kane, but. Um, I'm going to use my alternate email address because I already have one with my other one. Now I will tell you this, you need to make sure you do not use your student account here. I'm going to say that again, do not use your Northside student account because it does not accept emails coming in. So that's very important that you do that. Um, and if you don't do that, you're not going to be able to do the archives at all. So make sure you create a, a password here after you do that. So after you do that, you just go ahead and create a password. You may want to pause it so we can wait until uh, everybody is, is on. And now that you can check this or not check this, display your full name to the public. I never recommend that you do that. Um, it's, you know, just for privacy reasons. I'm not sure I got my did that correctly let's hope I did so I'll go ahead and click register okay so now an email verification has been sent to that email address I have to do that in order to check the verification so go ahead and pause and make sure you check your verification purposes okay so I opened up my email and um, no, I am not interested. And you can see that it's over here, OHS History Nerd, and my full name. So I click on this link to complete my registration. So go ahead and click on that with your email account. Okay, so now I put in my um, username and password here that I had, OHS History Nerd. Then you want to go back to the Citizen Archives web page and you should be logged in at that point. So archives.gov um, slash citizen hyphen archivist. You're back at the main page and you can do this one of two ways. You can go to the archives catalog and you can search different records to transcribe. Or what I like to do is to look at their current missions like what they really need help with transcribing. So let's go ahead and click on that. And here they've got, here, here's where we contribute. There's all kinds of things to, okay, so let's try, um, we may want to try one that's, that might be, you know, less used, or if you're going to do like the records division here, let's say 1917 to 1920, there's a ton of these documents. So my recommendation would be to go to the end and click on something from there, because a lot of times the ones before have already been transcribed. So I'll click on um, this one. This one looks good. We can tell this has not been transcribed yet. So um, if you want to zoom it up on it, it's here so you can kind of zoom it. And then you click this button right here that says view add 
contributions. So if I want to add a contribution, usually I'll transcribe it. You want to click transcribe. So, you know, I want to zoom in, in here so I can really see it. And I'll transcribe this one. Oh, it's asking me for my username. Okay, so you should, there was a button here that said add to contribute. So you, you uh, do that and when that opens up, you'll see tag, comment, or transcribe. So if you click on transcribe, which is what you want to do first, you can't tag them until you know what's in it. You click on this and then you just kind of, I like to zoom in so that I can really see what it says. And I'll write directly on the line. So November, 12th, 8th through the 18th, and it says, and I just notice I also write this on the separate line just like it appears here. On October 8th, October 8th, 1918, went into my first battle. It was altogether different to what I had thought it would be about daylight on the, I'll scroll up, morning of October 8th, 18, the command came to get ready to go. Oops. So you just keep on typing here. Um, until you complete it and um, it's also important that you need to write any typos that are in there too. Just write it exactly like it is spelled. Don't try to do any kind of correction. Anytime you're transcribing it's got to be directly what it says. But after I finish this I click the save button down here and then I go to tag and I'm going to start tagging things. So I can already tell this is about you know World War One add that tag. This is about life in war. And I can just keep on continuing adding these tags. Okay, I can also add a comment to it if I've got a particular comment. Make sure they're appropriate. And so that's what you do. You just continue until you finally finish it. Okay, and um, just transcribe as many documents as you can. The great news is th these records are in your account later on. You can actually see what you've transcribed. So if we save this, I'm going to come back to it because I haven't finished it. There should be something where it actually says, um, I'll put add this to my list, by the way. Create another list. I'll call this my World War I documents. Okay, and I go to my list, um, go to my account here, it should show me what I've transcribed. Okay, so it tells me, you know, what I've done here, and um, go to my transcriptions, and it's da-da-da-da-da, taking forever here, hopefully this wheel will stop pretty soon. And this is the one I worked on, so I can continue to work on it and come back to it later on. But you want to finish one and then go to the other because a lot of times people will think that that's transcribed and it's not fully transcribed. So I would always try to complete that one first. Anyway, that's what you do. So hopefully you'll enjoy this and let us know if you have any questions. Goodbye.